So today we're going to be taking a look over at Fallen Shadow or Shondo as some other people may know her. Because she unfortunately the other day got banned on Twitch yet again. And this ban came without an email or reason as to why she even got banned. Of course she later ended up receiving the email and we'll read over that in just a moment. But she said woke up to being banned found out through a Twitter bot because I have received no email about it, never mind why. Is drinking on stream against TOS now, or is it just against the made up second set of rules that my partner manager admitted moderation has for me, that I'm not allowed to see or hear about by the way, because I am a petite woman with a high soft voice using a VTuber model that reflects me IRL. So. Do I at least get to know why I'm banned this time? For how long? Because nobody has told me anything and this is starting to feel very much like bullying. I don't think it's fair that one rogue admin who hates VTubers gets to play with my career like this. I'm legally disabled and I support six vulnerable family members through streaming. And someone who just quote unquote doesn't like VTubers gets to keep hurting me and others with no explanation, logic, or reason. While we all know this is a site full of naked women on the front page, okay. So yeah, a lot of VTubers, not only Shondo, have been getting hit with bans by Twitch and, and suspensions for absolutely no reason other than being VTubers, I can assume. They make up some random reason to ban them and they do it. In Shondo's case, she didn't end up getting the email saying there's no way. And the email says, we reviewed your content and we're concerned about you. If you're currently struggling or feeling unsafe, please reach out for help. Talk to someone you trust, contact your doctor, or go to the hospital. In accordance with our community guidelines and to protect our community, we've removed this content. Suicide or self-harm behavior seriously threatening to harm yourself or endanger your life is not allowed on twitch and due to this they banned her for 30 days with shondo adding dj clancy the ceo of twitch saying i just got a 30-day ban for having three glasses of cream liquor i'm okay i'm fine i'm not even hung over wtf Someone did reply saying, you did get pretty bad last night. You had thousands of people trying to talk you down from doing something stupid. With Shondo saying, I don't know why you interpreted it that way, but I said the exact opposite of this. Streaming is the reason I am alive today. My community's love and support is the reason I wake up and I feel like I have a reason to keep going. Streaming literally saved me. Last night wasn't a cry for help, it was my gratitude. I get I was drunk and a bit of a mess, but I thought that was pretty clear at the time and it still is now. I'm afraid of the future because I always have the niggling thought that all of my friends will leave me or everyone will leave me or things will get worse because eventually my meds will stop working. That doesn't mean I want to hurt myself in any way or plan on it. But ending myself is absolutely something I have zero plan of ever doing and after watching the VOD, I don't know where you or a few others got that idea from. It's just untrue. I was drunk but I wasn't so intoxicated I had no control of my actions and know what I did and didn't say. There's video evidence of it. Shondo received a ton of support on this tweet with people like Bao saying, let me get this straight. Twitch's favorite gamers can say kill yourself, but somehow bringing up mental health in any capacity during a drinking stream warrants a 30 day suspension. Twitch is not beating the quote, we hate VTubers allegations. Pippa said someone at Twitch seems to actually have it out for you at this point. And we also had Sayu saying, this is so sad to see. I'm so sorry you have to struggle through all of this extra that you don't deserve. I get that a platform would want to point out any self-harm, but I doubt you were saying anything to that level while drinking. So, did they even watch your stream? We had people like Azehara saying, we hear you made a comment during a stream about self-harm. So, we are just going to take your source of income and the only thing you look forward to doing to keep yourself sane as you struggle with your mental health for a whole month. I would drop this dog shit site so hard. Anime fans said, Twitch banning a VTuber for a month for having three drinks. Meanwhile, you can literally have sex on stream and get a three-day ban maximum. Yeah, Twitch has a bias against VTubers, actual clown company. And that's not a joke, by the way, that happened. I think the person ended up getting a seven day ban, but having sex on stream resulting in only a seven day ban is insane. Someone else said a 30 day ban is a terrible move, especially if you think the creator might be at risk. Taking away someone's livelihood for a whole month when they are vulnerable is not protecting them. It is precisely the opposite. So thankfully, after all of the backlash Twitch received and all of the support Shondo received, Shondo was un banned after one day and 16 hours, resulting in Shondo posting about it and celebrating the fact that she was unbanned. She said, thank you everyone for being so supportive. This whole thing has been a big silly roller coaster on my shaking kitten self, so I will be back to streaming as normal on Wednesday. And then Shondo ended up posting the email she received about the unban, saying, what? So they're admitting it's only because of backlash. And the email says, hello Fallen Shadow, a member of our team has reviewed your appeal and can confirm that the correct enforcement was issued 
issued. However, given the details of your case, we have determined that your appeal can be accepted. And so to me, that personally reads like, hey, if you didn't make a big stink about this on Twitter and got a lot of support from people, you'd still be banned. But because you did that and made us look bad, we're going to unban you. We had Bao responding this tweet as well, saying this is such an embarrassing reply from Twitch. It reeks of passive aggressiveness and disrespect towards you. Twitch pretending to have rules and a backbone when they bend the rules every day to maintain money by being chatterbait light is just hilarious to me. Emmy said they always say they're right every freaking time and will never admit their problems. Even if they backpedal on the punishments, it's just so gross how they never take responsibility for their own staff or systems. Now, Shondo has gone ahead and talked more about this thing. I actually do find it very distressing that they're at least putting on the front that the only reason the ban was lifted is because of the huge backlash. I'm so grateful over the absolutely ungodly amount of support I've received, but man, what if I was a small channel? What about when this happens to someone who doesn't have a lot of people who will step up and defend them? I am still shaking from seeing how many literal tens of thousands of people have stood up for me the past few days. I can't wrap my head around it, but what if I wasn't big enough to have that? What if I didn't have savings? What if they were right and I legitimately was having feelings of self-destruct? Are they outright admitting they will tell small VTubers to end game if someone on the staff doesn't like them? Take away their income just because they can? I feel a lot more stable continuing to stream on Twitch, especially knowing Dan is aware of the situation as well as the previous time I was banned now. So I don't think they can get away with bullying me any further. I am scared for other VTubers. All of the drama has been so stun locking. I've been struggling to do anything because it consumed all of my thoughts everything so tiresome but the best part of all of it i think is that maybe there's a little more awareness about how evil corpos can be maybe in the future someone will suffer the same situation and because i was kind of made an example of they'll have an easier time getting out of it whereas they might not have been able to had i not i'm going to hope that i can do some good where i can because if not i guess the stress is just that but shondo is excited to stream on wednesday so look forward to her stream whenever she does do so so yeah twitch is having a lot of issues with vtubers where they're either sending them warnings or or outright banning them for absolutely no reason. Some VTubers getting warned about stuff that they've done for years now that doesn't break TOS. As we also had V Shoujo Zentrea being hit by a weird warning from Twitch, saying in all the years I've been on Twitch, I've always played by the rules and knew where the lines were. I've never gotten a warning. I had basically the equivalent of a one piece swimsuit for less than five minutes far from screen. I think something's definitely going on. And it shows where Twitch gave Zentrea a warning, saying Twitch is committed to keeping our community safe, blah, 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 saying based on a review of your activity or content, we have issued a warning on your account. Content classification, sexual themes. Some types of content do not violate our community guidelines, but are not appropriate for all Twitch users. In order to help viewers make informed choices about the content they watch, we require streamers to apply the appropriate content classification label to their channel when a stream includes any of the following. Mature rated games, sexual themes, drugs, intoxication, etc, etc. So basically, they gave Zentrea a warning for something that shouldn't even even gotten a warning. Now, Zentrea did say, now mind you, this isn't a ban. This is a warning, but if I show the swimsuit toggle for even a minute, I will most likely be banned. So it's a very weird situation. I was just standing there and talking about a normal topic far from screen. So in dangerous waters at the moment. Zentrea adding on, also, I've had that one piece outfit for two plus years and as well as others for longer and never received any warning or such for them. So this is out of nowhere is why it's so strange to me. So I'm not sure what's going on at the moment. So this is another case to me where it looks like Twitch is targeting VTubers. And I'm not the only one in this boat as a lot of other people are seeing the exact same thing. We had Pipkin Pippa face connect saying, my conspiracy theory is someone at Twitch hates VTubers and is trying to shut them down during one of the more lucrative months in the year. We did have Stray Wolf responding to Pippa saying, you may actually be onto something. Recently, some charts are even excluding VTubers because they dominate the streaming market and that makes flesh tubers embarrassed. So I guess they're artificially trying to cull those numbers. Twitch has been shown to be biased against VTubers. And they showed off a screenshot of the stream hatchet where they were showing off the top 10 female streamers in August. Now, as you can see, there's no VTubers on this list. Now, I'll go over to the actual tweet so we can make the image a little bit clearer. But as you can see here, again, there are no VTubers on this list. You may say, hey, maybe they're only taking from Twitch streamers as many of these people are Twitch streamers. However, Valkyrie Ray is in here who is a YouTube streamer. And you may think, Nah, maybe VTubers aren't hitting those high numbers. Maybe there's none that should be in the top 10. Well, you'd be wrong if you think that, because if we look over at Stream Hatchet's actual tweet that includes VTubers, we have them doing the top 10 VTubers during August by average viewers across all platforms, where we can see that they were hitting 
astronomical numbers. Almost all of them are hitting higher numbers than anyone on that list. So it's very odd that people are wanting to separate VTubers and actual streamers from each other when at the end of the day, we're all just streamers doing the exact same thing pretty much. But hey, I don't really know what's going on with Twitch. Maybe they're just upset that their number one streamer on the platform is Iron Mouse, a VTuber, which huge congratulations to her for that. Either way though, it's weird. Hopefully something gets done. Hopefully they fire the people targeting VTubers. Maybe they aren't targeting VTubers and it's just a weird bot doing it. Who knows? I doubt we will ever get any answers. For now though, please let me know what you all think about the situation down below and have yourself a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.